Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Elysium. Cool. I just wanted to show you guys a package that I got. It's going to be really cool. I got it from Catherine Van Bowler. I'm sorry. Butchered that. Anyways, I'm not going to delve too much into what it is, but I'm going to show you because I'm extremely excited. Let's just get this to see if I can open this bad boy up with one hand. Nope. So. Ooh. Now, I'm just going to warn you guys, if you don't like seeing dead creatures, then turn away now. Oops. Cellophane. Candy. Insect art. So, ooh, coupon. Anyways, so what I have here is my butterfly spreading kit, which, oh, that's it. That's just all that comes in here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, it's my butterfly spreading kit, which I had purchased recently because I became interested in creating my own insect art. I, uh, on my Instagram, I had posted, uh, I have posted a picture of real butterfly wings in a resin pendant, and I'm just fascinated with insects, really. Hold on. So, this kit came with butterflies to rehydrate. Oh, 12 of them. And I just, I love insects, man. They are just some of the coolest creatures out there. Um, I have to go buy myself a good old piece of styrofoam or whatever I want to use as a block. But I'll be doing a video of me spreading these guys. And I think that I'm going to put most of them in a collection, in like a, a an arrangement of sorts instead of putting them in jewelry. But I just love insects. They have so many cool colors and patterns, and they're just really, really cool. So I'm going to read through, after we look at all these guys, I'm going to read through the uh, pamphlet with you all. Just in case you might want, if you're interested in similar things, you can go and get this kit from her as well. It was 30 uh, twenty-eight dollars, and then I think it was seven shipping. But she lives in the United States, and I live in the United States. So, whoop! Sorry, butterflies. But so that's you know, in-country shipping and all. Just to give you guys a little thing, heads up. And for twelve butterflies of assortments, that's a uh, that's all right. Um, and it came with pins and tweezers as well. So I'm going to put all these little babes back in here. And I can rehydrate them in their little little contain little packets cuz you have to rehydrate them and all that jazz. Anyways. All right off to the side. Butterfly spreading kit for beginners. These are instructions. I know the basis of how to do this, but I would still, I'm going to still go through these instructions. Your kit includes one pair of tweezers, one wheel of pins, eight glass plates, plastic container for rehydration, 12 butterflies for practice. You will need to provide paper towels, paper napkins, or old washcloth, and a flat piece of styrofoam. Thank you for your purchase and welcome to the world of butterfly collection and mounting. I hope you find this hobby as fun as I do. Let's get started. Don't worry if you ruin your first few butterflies, I sure did. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be confident enough to try some more valuable species. Please look through these directions in their entirety before we get started. Knowing the game plan will make each step more make more sense. And since this process is difficult to explain with just words, have in included many photos. I have included. Hi, Tiger. My love. You're really helpful right now. Please, scooch. Thanks. Uh... First thing to do is get your paper towels and napkins and washcloth damp. 
or washcloth damp, not soaking, just damp to the touch. Place it inside of your Tupperware container with four butterflies. You have enough supplies to do it for it to do four at a time. Do or not remove the packing from the butterflies, packaging from the butterflies. Place them onto the wet towels as is. Close the lid tightly and let rest overnight. This process introduces moisture back into your specimens so you can move the parts without breaking them. It's called rehydration. While you're waiting, you can prepare your styrofoam spreading board, get your pieces of styrofoam, and make four shallow indentations that are about the size of the butterfly's body. You can use anything to scrape out the indentations. The tweezers work pretty well for digging. If you are making space for the butterfly's body to sit during the spreading and drying process, be sure to leave enough room between your furrows, at least five to six inches. See an example, one of mine below. Tiger, my love, please. Over time, scales and various other dirt will accumulate in the furrows. That's why mine looks so dark. Uh, I think that's probably next page. Yep. The next day, remove your first butterfly from the container. Carefully remove the papering from around it and hold it into the middle of the body. Thorax with your left hand, assuming you're right-handed. South paws reverse. Give the body a little squeeze and see if the wings move a little. You are manually activating the muscles and move the wings when the butterfly is alive. This helps you get ready for the spreading. Go ahead and use your right hand to take a hold of both upper wings at once and pull them out. Pull uh, up towards the head a little. This flexes them and makes them s the next step easier. All the while, keep in mind that touching the wings may remove their scales. Try to keep touching the pretty side to a minimum. This is where the teasers will come in handy. Now you're ready for the spreading board. This is your prepared piece of styrofoam. Still holding. Butterfly with your left hand. Take two pieces of glass with your right hand and put them together on top of each other as shown. Give the body a little squeeze to the opening in the wings slightly and slip both glass plates in between the wings. Now carefully move the whole bundle to your styrofoam. This is the trickiest part of the whole process. Just warning. Smiley face. Place your body over one of your furrows and shift your hand to get one piece of glass in each hand unfolded. Oop. Unfold the glass using it to unfold the wings and finally rest them flat on the styrofoam, one plate covering each pair of wings. Now the hardest part is over. Yay! You can move the wings around underneath the glass plates until you get them where you want them. Use your tweezers to carefully grab the wings from underneath the glass and adjust. When you have the wings situated, all that's left are the antennae as pictured as the two pins to make a V over each antenna and push them into the styrofoam to hold. If the head isn't straight, you'll have to use your pins to move it around first, so the antennae are where you want them. Note, some of the practice butterflies may be missing antennae. Now just a quick check of the body. If it isn't straight or where you want it, use more pins to secure. Don't put any pins through the body, just make more Vs over what you need to secure. Ooh, now you can try more three more specimens. When you're done with those, feel free to put four more dried butterflies into the damp Tupperware so you can do more tomorrow. All finished. Just let your specimens dry overnight, or at least for several hours, before carefully removing the pins and glass plates. Use your tweezers to grab the body to remove from your styrofoam board. you want to handle them with tweezers from now on. You now can now store your spread specimens in another airtight container until ready for use. Or you can glue them into a frame. Any kind of glue will work. I usually use good old Elmer's. A tip. Place the glue on the body only, not the wings. Some glues will discolor the wings. You can glue your butterflies onto things other than frames, of course. Feel free to get creative, but keep in mind that if your butterflies aren't protected behind glass, they will probably not last very long. For displaying, you want to keep them out of direct sunlight to avoid fading. I hope you have enjoyed your first step into the world of insect collection. If you managed to get more than half your specimens spread well enough to frame, congratulations. If you mangled several specimens, that is totally normal. Keep trying. You will get it eventually. And once it clicks, you won't ruin any more. It does take some practice, but that's what these cheap little butterflies are for. When you have finished with these 12, you can order more for me. I offer them in my store in packages of 10, 25, and 50. I can also hook you up with more expensive specimens once you feel confident enough to take them on. The bigger they are, the easier they are to spread, I think. Good luck and thank you. Katie Van Bolarisum. I'm so sorry. Insect Art. www.insectart.etsy.com Well, that is just uber cool. I am terribly excited to get started with this whole collection uh, of insects and start making jewelry and framed pieces of them. If you guys want to go check her out, 
Uh, I'd suggest so because this is a very nice packaging and the instructions were very well written and everything was nice and neat and packaged nice. Um, so it's uh, www.insectart.etsy.com. I'll put that up on the screen and I'll put it in the uh, comment section. No, description section down below. Yeah. I hope y'all have a good time, and I'll see you next week, or month, or whatever. Bye-bye.